Cutaneous wound healing is a process by which the skin repairs itself after damage. It is important in restoring normal function to the tissue. There are two main types of healing, primary intention and secondary intention. In both types, there are four stages which occur, hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation and remodeling. In this video, we shall look the mechanisms of wound healing, factors affecting healing and wound infection. Let us now discuss primary intention. Healing by primary intention occurs in wounds with dermal edges that are close together, example a scalpel incision. It is usually faster than by secondary intention and occurs in four stages. Number one is hemostasis. The action of platelets and cytokines forms a hematoma and causes vasoconstriction, limiting blood loss at the affected area. The close proximity of the wound edges allows for ease of clot formation and prevents infection by forming a scab. Number two is inflammation. A cellular inflammatory response acts to remove any cell debris and pathogens present. Number three is proliferation. Cytokines released by inflammatory cells drive the proliferation of the fibroblast and the formation of granulation tissue. Angiogenesis is promoted by the presence of growth mediators, example VEGF, allowing for further maturation of the granulation tissue. The production of collagen by fibroblast allows for closure of the wound after around a week. Number four is remodeling. Collagen fibers are deposited within the wound to provide strength in the region with the fibroblast subsequently undergoing apoptosis. The end result of healing by primary intention is a complete return to function with minimal scarring and loss of skin appendages. Moving towards secondary intention. Healing by secondary intention occurs when the sides of the wound are not opposed. Therefore, healing must occur from the bottom of the wound upwards. It occurs in the same four stages of primary intention. Number one is hemostasis, a large fibrin mesh forms which fills the wound. Number two, inflammation. An inflammatory response acts to remove any cell debris and pathogens present. There is a large amount of cell debris present and the inflammatory reaction tends to be more intense than in primary intention. Number three, proliferation. Granulation tissues formed at the bottom of the wound. This is an important step as the epithelia can only proliferate and regenerate once the granulation tissue fills the wound to the level of the original epithelium. Once the granulation tissue reaches this level, the epithelial can completely cover the wound. Number four is remodeling. The inflammatory response begins to resolve and wound contraction can occur. Myofibroblasts are vital cells in secondary intention. They are modified smooth muscle cells that contain actin and myosin and act to contract the wound, decreasing the space between the dermal edges. They also can deposit collagen for scar healing. Factors affecting wound healing. There are several factors that affect the success of any wound healing. They can be divided into local factors and systemic factors. Local factors include type, size, location of wound, increasing age, local blood supply, comorbidities, especially cardiovascular disease or diabetes mellitus. Systemic factors include infection, nutritional deficiencies, especially vitamin C, foreign material or contamination, obesity and radiation damage. An uncommon complication from wound healing, particularly in people with darker skin, are keloid scars, whereby there is excessive collagen production leading to extensive scarring. This can occur in both primary and secondary intention healing. So, dear viewers, I hope you find this video informative. Keep watching Pharmacy D by Asim. Also, the links are given below in the description. Do follow us on our social media platforms for more informative stuff. Thank you.